Hey, hope everybody's having a good night. I did promise a while ago that I will read the prophets in the near future. I've read a few of the judges, so I just figure why not bring the prophets into the equation? It is written that they would see Moses and Elijah, so just follow along. I chose Hosea because I thought it was really appropriate based on what they did to the word and spirit and what's about to happen to Israel. I thought it'd be appropriate to resurrect this little uh, story. So who I am gave this message to Hosea, son of Barry. During the years of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah were kings of Judah and Jeroboam, and sons of jo Jehoash was kings of Israel. Hosea's wife and children. When Huam first began speaking to Israel through Hosea, he said to him, go and marry a prostitute <laughs> so that some of her children will be conceived in prostitution. This will illustrate how Israel has acted like a prostitute by turning against who I am and worshiping other, other I am's. So Hosea, other gods. So Hosea married Gomer, the daughter of De, De Blame, and she became pregnant and gave Hosea a son. And the, who I am said, name the child Jezreel, for I'm about to punish King Jehu's dynasty to avenge the murders he committed at Jezreel. In fact, I will bring an end to Israel's independence. I will break its military power in Jezreel Valley. Soon, Gomer became pregnant again and gave birth to a daughter. And the who I am said to Hosea, name your daughter Lo Rohama, not loved, for I will no longer show love to the people of Israel or forgive them, but I will show love to the people of Judah the real ones who are in bondage and coming out of the second exodus, which obviously happened to the Native Americans and African Americans and Africans because the whole continent was decimated. <clears throat> I will free them from their enemies, not with weapons and armies or horses and charioteers, but by my power as who I am. After Gomer and had weaned Lo Rahama, she again became pregnant and gave birth to a second son. And who I am said, name him Lo Ami, not my people, for Israel is not my people, and I am not their God. <laughs> Yet the time will come when Israel's people will be like the sands of the seashore, too many to count. Then at the place where they were told, you are not my people, it will be said, you are children of who I am. Then the people of Judah and Israel will unite together, and they will choose one leader for themselves. In case they want to go back to Samuel and figure out who that leader is going to be, I am who I am, and I am the king of kings. And if y'all want to keep making kings over who y'all are, let me know, and y'all can keep playing in this fractal paradox forever. And they will return to ex from exile together. What a day that will be, the day of Jezreel, when who I am again plant his people in his land. So it's in many other scriptures talking about Jezreel. If y'all just read this book, y'all will know what's going on. And that day you will call your brothers Ami, my people, and you will call your sisters Ruhama, the ones I love, charges against an unfaithful wife. But now bring charges against Israel, your mother, for she is no longer my wife, and I am no longer her husband. Tell her to remove the prostitute's makeup from her face and the clothing that exposes her breasts. Otherwise, I will strip her as naked as she was the day she was born. I will leave her to die of thirst, Israel, the Sodomite nation, as in the dry, barren, and wilderness. And I will not love her children. I have seen all those in Israel protesting against the Zionism and Nazism. And I've seen all the real Yehudahites around the world that are patient and doing the right thing. And I am with thee, and you are blessed, and you are my people. But as for that nation, Sodom, who's over there murdering other people, and not even the the beasts will hate the prostitute, then Palestinians and then people in the Arab nations know of the violence and the murder they were committing before that. So this isn't one of the, it's like the angel of fire and Joshua. I'm not here to play fucking games. I have eyes and I know what you all do. Their mother is a shameless prostitute and become pregnant in a shameful way. She said, I'll run after her other lovers and sell myself to them for food and water, for clothing and wool and linen and for olive and oils. Yes, she went up into Anglo-Saxon land after Rome and went nuts and started enslaving and killing for thousands of years. Even before that, in the times of Babylon, in the times of Babylon, Canaan, and 
Assyria and all these other nations. I will block her pathways with a wall to make her lose her way. When she runs after her lovers, she won't be able to catch them. She will search for them, but will not find them. Then she will think, I might as well return to my husband, for I was better off with him than I am now. She doesn't realize it was I who gave her everything she has, that wicked nation Israel. The grain, the new wine, the olive oil, I even gave her silver and gold, but she gave all the gifts to Baal, that Hashem and Jesus Christ. And the Lord God, who they are from Norse paganism. Germans, who they claim to hate, but are of Polish and German descent. The Jutes. But now I will take back the ripened grain and new wine. And I generously provide each harvest each season. I will take away the wool and linen and clothing. I gave her to cover her nakedness. I will strip her naked in public while all her lovers look on. No one will be able to rescue her from my hands. I will put an end to her annual festivals, all those silly Sabbaths and new moons, all her appointed festivals. This has nothing to do with people who do holidays. This has to do with religious cosplay and buffoon. I will destroy her grapevines and, and fig trees. The things she claims her lovers gave her, the Talmud and Gomorrah and the Bible and all these other wretched books, I will let them grow into tangled thickets where only the wild animals will eat the fruit like Nebuchadnezzar. I will punish her for all those times when she burned incense to her images of Baal and Asherah. When she put her earrings and jewels and went out to look for her lovers but forgot all about me, says who I am. But then I will win her back once again. I will lead her into the desert and speak tenderly to her there. I will return her vineyards to her and transform the valley of trouble into the gateway of hope. She will then give herself to me there, as she did long ago when she was young, when I freed her from the captivity in Egypt. When that day comes, says who I am, you will call me my husband instead of my master. O oh, Israel, I will wipe the many names of Baal from your lips, and you will never mention them again. On that day, I will make a covenant with all the wild animals and the birds of the sky, and the animals that scurry along the ground, so they will not harm you. I will remove all weapons of war from the land, all swords and bows, so you can live unafraid, in peace and safety. I will make you my wife forever, showing you righteousness and justice, unfailing love and compassion. I will be faithful to you and make you mine, and you will finally know me as who I am. And that day I will answer, says who I am. I will make the sky as it pleads for clouds, I will answer the sky as it pleads for clouds, and the sky will answer the flesh with rain, with knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Then the flesh will answer the thirsty cries and give it out as well of the grain, the grapevines, and the olive trees in these books and the grain instead of acting nutty with cosplay. And they will turn, and they in turn will answer Jezreel, who I am plants. At that time, I will plant the crop of Israelites and raise them for myself. I will show love to call those not love to those I call not love and those I call not my people. I will say now you are my people and they will reply. You are who I am. You are. I am who I am or you are who I am, so to speak, because I am word and spirit. And this is what a lot of wicked people don't teach y'all about the covenant of restoration and the flint knife of the second circumcision. How all can enter the temple as long as they do the will of who I am. Love who I am with all your heart and soul, your neighbor the same. That's the top of the covenant. And then you have I am who I am. I am the one who frees. I am the king of kings. Put no gods before who I am, before me. A priesthood, a kingdom for all of us. We are the I am. And greater things we will do and do. Do surgeons and medical doctors not heal to where the, the blind can see now? And have cochlears where the deaf can hear? Do we not have translate buttons so that when the fire rains down, all languages can hear it instead of it being babble? But these religious men are about to be exposed because without the spirit of who I am, love and comforting and peace, these men wouldn't be able to come together and even learn and get understanding and knowledge. This is not cosplay. This is the truth. Why do none of these people who say you'll be my slaves, you'll be my this, you're going to serve the, why do they never show these parts of the scriptures? Because I am who I am and all people are my children. 
All people, my brothers, all people are for who I am. Then who I am said to me, go and love your wife again, even though she commits adultery with another lover. And this is something y'all should know. I'm going to show y'all something. It says in this book, unless a woman leaves her man for adultery or leaves his wife for adultery, because we're not finna just do this woman shit. Then when they leave and get divorced, if they ever get married again, they're adulterers. Which means all of y'all telling people to get married before you have sex, you're breaking the law and don't even know it. But they don't teach you all this stuff. Technically, by the law, when you get divorced, you, you're supposed to be free forever. And not even supposed, you can do whatever you want. But what this book says, get married again and have sex again. But the own book tells people, unless it's for adultery, then you become adulterer by getting remarried. None of it makes sense. They're liars. And the Old Testament says you can get divorced for certain reasons. I'm not even finna get in all that because I don't follow man's law. I follow the Ten Commandments and the Word and Spirit, which means saved by grace means I don't even follow the Ten Commandments in terms that the Spirit and the love is already in my heart and it's not a law anymore. I see it for a righteous stone that protects me. That's what I say when I mean I don't follow a law. The grace is already in my heart. So I know what to do. This will illustrate that who I am still loves Israel, even though the people have sodomized and followed other heathen gods. So I brought her back for 15 pieces of silver, half the cost that Judas, or should I say Judah missing the S, for transgressing and becoming warmongers, and five bushels of barley and a measure of wine, my new vine, that will produce a beautiful wine. Because I'm not touching water and turning it into one. But spiritually I am, for all who can understand. You must live in my house for many days and stop your prostitution. During this time, you will not have sexual relations with anyone. This is not talking about physical sex. This is talking about when I tell people, don't worship me, don't worship me, don't cling to me, cling to the Father. What, what's God's name? I am. What's Allah's name? It is what it is. He is. I am who I will be. Word and spirit. Jesus, I don't, I fucking hate that name. It's Yeshua, the salvation of Yeho, because Yehohan is in the grave. We have the same name, Yanezawani, and I am here with the salvation of Yeshua. I am gracious salvation, the salvation of graciousness for everybody who wants to get into metaphysical, the what it really means. Yanez, Yohohanan means I am gracious, where they got Yehovah from. And then Yahweh, JB, is I am who I will be as I've expressed to you all. And I am the righteous one who only accepts peace. Then I, But my peace comes with the stone. Not I am stoning you, but putting no gods before who I am. That goes for women and men. But women and men come together when they do get married or men and whatever you do. I'm not here to argue and fight. I don't argue with men who love other men, and I don't argue with women who love other women, unless they talk stupid in religion. You must live in my house for many days. During this time, you will not have sex with anyone, not even me. This shows that Israel will go a long time without taking a king or prince and without sacrifices. The sacrificial law, 616 laws that will be destroyed by my mountain. The Ten Commandments, sacred pillars, priests, or even idols. But afterward, the people will return and devout themselves to who I am and to David's descendants, their king, the Lord. In the last days, they will tremble in awe of who I am and my goodness. Then you all can come to me after you learn what it is to learn to love yourself. Because if you don't understand what it means when I say love who I am with all your heart and others the same, then you have some training to do. Hear the words of who I am, O people of Israel. But you all playing that sacrificial law and keep stoning yourselves, that's on you. Strike the stone if you want to. You see what was manifested. I come with, thou shalt not kill or rape. Thou shalt, let me start at the beginning. I am who I am. I am the one who frees you from the land of Egypt. You shall have no gods before who I am. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. No idols under the earth. No idols in the flesh, the heart, or in these deep books. Of the earth, the heavens, or in the seas. Um, don't take who I am in vain. Then you have don't kill or rape. Don't 
covet for thy neighbor's house. Don't steal. Don't commit adultery when you sign all these marriage contracts and whatever else y'all are signing. Because I don't see in the, in the Ten Commandments nothing about sex lovers or anything else that y'all can or can't do except breaking contracts of marriage. It says in the beginning, be fruitful and multiply. So if I am telling you to do your thing and live your life and be protected, then letting another man tell you how to live, unless he is teaching you and you like his teachings, so then you like to incorporate those, then that's on you. But whoever thinks there will be another God or king, if y'all don't have examples by now, I hope you understand. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt um, honor thy father or mother. Uh, don't bear false witness, especially in court, ever, but especially in court on others. Don't lie on others. And then uh, keep your day of rest holy. You know what I'm saying? All this religious cosplay and extra stuff y'all are doing with this book, you're worshiping other men. You know the difference between right and wrong. You have parents. And those of you who have corrupt parents, now you're an adult if you are, and learn. There is no faithfulness, no kindness, no knowledge of who I am in your lands. You make vows and break them. Adultery, what I was just saying, marriage covenants. You kill and steal and commit adultery for no reason. And that will end. There is violence everywhere. They work, they mur one murder after another. This is why your land is in the morning. And everyone is wasting away. So yes, I feel for the Palestinians. But all of North Africa is still colonized. Don't fucking play with me. Even the wild animals, the birds of the sky, and the fish of the sea are disappearing. Don't point your finger at someone else and try to pass the blame. For the Catholics have gotten so brutal. What other teachers are there? What happened to people who tried to worship anything besides the Lord Jesus Christ that they tried to bail into us? But if I remember correctly, such is Latin for pig, and they got yeah from Yehohanan, Yanez. My complaint, you priests, is with you, the Pharisees and scribes. So you will stumble in broad daylight. Your false prophets will fall with you in the night. And I will destroy Israel, your mother. My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. Since you priests refuse to know me, I refuse to recognize you as my priests. Since you have forgotten the laws of who I am, I will forget to bless your children. The more priests there are, because if you teach them of something I am not, what can I do to teach them of righteousness? Think about what I'm saying. If you go outside of the Ten Commandments and teach them all this religion, look what I don't need to curse people. Look at what they're doing in Israel right now between the Arabs and the Jews. Look what the Catholics did to the Christ, to the all of Europe and Arabia. And look what the Protestants did to the Catholics after that in all of Africa. And the Arabs have done that to Africa, too. Don't get on these videos talking about home to law. Look how blessed the law is. We help and feed. No, you don't. My countrymen are still slaves in North Arabia, a.k.a. Africa. Y'all were screaming, kill Jews. The more priests there are, the more sin, the more they sin against me. They have exchanged the glory of who I am for the shame of idols. So, yes, Muhammad might have done very beautiful things, but people after him have been corrupt. Just like what after Yanez and the apostles the Catholic Church went rampant. Just after, like after William Tyndale, the Protestants went nuts. Just like after Martin Luther King, y'all started parading for the wrong shit. Although, I'm not finna disrespect y'all. The LGBTQT community have been fighting. They, I'm sorry, the LGB community have been fighting a fight. And the T will not be murdered for no reason mindlessly. Y'all are not finna be fucking disrespectful. When the people bring their sin and offerings, the priests get fed. So the priests are glad when the people sin. And what the priests do, the people also do. So now I will punish both priests and people for their wicked deeds. They will eat and be still be hungry. They will play the prostitute and gain nothing from it. For they have deserted who I am to worship their other gods. Wine has robbed my people of their understanding. Did Noah not get drunk on the wine, the vine according to your book? And now look how the spirits of man enslave Africans and treat him like garbage. Who y'all have manifested into reality outside of a book. Because everybody keeps saying this book isn't real and it's full of metaphors. But people read these metaphors and go enslave my people. And now they will be destroyed because of it. And so they say I'm sorry. Because if they want to follow after Israel and the Anglo-Saxons. And the Catholic Church in Germany. They will be given over to such judgments. Longing after idols. 
They think a stick can tell them the future, the cross, right? Who they wear around their necks. And the, and the Judaism that loves it. Because even though the Bible isn't real, who gets paid because of it? Longing after idols has made them foolish. They have played the prostitute, serving others. Don't think because I follow Abraham and the sacrificial law, you follow the dirt. They offer sacrifices to idols on the mountaintops. They go up into the hills to burn incense and the pleasant shades of the oaks, poplars, and ter terebinth trees. That is why your daughters turn to prostitution and your daughter-in-laws commit adultery. This is talking about the people who go against who I am, the righteous one in the heart, right? And turn him into a selfish, vain, egotistical pagan. Day in and day out with these selfish religions. But why should I punish them for their prostitution and adultery? For your men are doing the same thing. Your prophets shining with whores and shrine prostitutes. Oh, the tabernacle of the Lord. Oh, the shrine of the Lord. Oh, the third temple has to be built. While destroying their own temples in their minds. Oh, foolish people, you pagans. You refuse to understand. So you will be destroyed if you do not repent and say sorry. Though you, though you Israel are a prostitute, may Judah not be guilty of such things. For even though they were brought to America, they have still stayed strong. And though they were given pagan names, which I said is okay, that doesn't even make sense. Flee from her, my people. For why would I tell you all to worship the name I am, which brings it back to you? You are the kings and queens. And then tell you all to worship a blue-eyed blind man. They make their gods like their image so people worship them as people, not knowing they are sick, full of disease, plague, and virus, have colonized and stolen lands, and know nothing in terms of intellect and wisdom, and have robbed people of theirs. And do not say because I am black, because I am Arab, the number of tariffs, the tethers that I have seen destroy their own people with word and spirit. Do not take oaths there in the who I am's name. Israel is stubborn, like her stubborn heifer, like a stubborn heifer. Should, so should who I am feed her like a lamb in the lust of a pastor? Pastor, leave Israel alone because she is married to idolatry. When the rulers of Israel finish their drinking, off they go to find some prostitutes. They love shame more than honor, so a mighty wind shall sweep them away. Their sacrifices to idols will bring them shame. The failures of Israel's leaders and top rabbis and prophets. Hear this, you priests, and you people who prophesy things in vain and tell people to worship idols and vain gods from Germany. The people who say they were affected by Germany but all have German Anglo-Saxon blood and do the same thing and worship and invoke the power of Gudan from Germany and then say Hashem worshiping after and shepherd kings that enslaved Egypt in the first place took their name and then became pharaohs but still attack Africa and will be destroyed. Pay attention you leaders in Israel. Listen, you members of the royal family, judgments have been handed down against you, for you have led the people into a snare by worshiping the idols at Mitzvah and Tabar. You have dug a deep pit to trap them at Arcadia Grove, but I will settle with you for what you have done. I know what you are like, O Ephraim. You cannot hide yourself from me, O Israel. You have left me as a prostitute leaves her husband. You are utterly defiled. And you have taken the words of Babylon, Persia, Greece, and Rome, and all types of other nations in Assyria that consumed in the first place. You're in the shepherd kings that enslaved Africa long ago. Your deeds won't let you return to who I am. You are a prostitute through and through, you, and you do not know who I am. The arrogance of Israel testifies against her. Israel and Ephraim will stumble under their load of guilt. Judah, too, will fall with them. When they come with their flocks and herds, oh, you Palestinians, do they not attack you at the moment as we speak? Did they not give their Lord to Germany? And now look what the Germans do. And as long as this curse continues to spread on, it's never going to end. So I've come with the farce. They will not find them because he has withdrawn from them. They have betrayed the honor of who I am, bearing children that are not mine. Now their false religion will devour them along with their wealth like an ouroboros of destruction. Sound the alarm at Gibna, Gibeah. Blow the trumpet in Ramah, right? On the sixth day, right? 4,000 BC, a tomb appears. 
And now 2000 AD I am born. Wani, right, with the same name as the prophet, right? So y'all can call this cosplay if you want. Atheists can say it never happened if they want. In a literal time frame, it literally happened. From the time Moses came bearing JB, I'm sorry, Yahweh. I know some people have trouble learning English, which is English. America's a German word. It's all German proxy, Anglo-Saxons. Raise the battle cry in Beethoven. So Yahshua, the salvation of Yeshua, I mean Yeshua, the salvation of Yeho, literally came on the sixth day with the trumpet to bring rest on the seventh day. So now no atheist on the planet can never say it never happened. Because outside of their European cosplay from an African and timeline from throughout humanity in the world, it literally fucking happened. Now what? And my name is JB Wani. Now what? One thing is certain, Israel, on your day of punishment, you will become a heap of rubble. The leaders of Judah have become like thieves. So I will pour my anger on them like a waterfall. The people of Israel will be crushed and broken by my judgment because they are determined to worship idols. I will destroy Israel as a moth consumes wool. They will make Judah as weak as rotten wood. When Israel and Judah, so what did I say before? Is not Israel claiming to be some Papa Father religion acting like Noah? Trying to curse his children, not destroying its own child Judah, the Palestinians. When Israel and Judah saw how sick they were, Israel turned to Assyria, to the great king there. But he could neither help nor cure them. I will be like a lion to Israel, a strong young lion to Judah. Did I not say Assyria right? I told you there are Assyrians, right? Because Syria is Syria, right? Turkey now which is Caucasia, which went up and colonized Anglo-Saxons, Germany, until they became the Romanians, right, and the Polish. Did I not say all this in Prussia, Russia? Right. Um, a strong young lion to Judah. I will tear them to pieces. I will carry them off, and no one will be left to rescue them. Then I will turn my pla to my place until they admit their guilt. Then I will return to my place until they admit their guilt and turn to me. For as soon as trouble comes, they will earnestly search for me. Because like I told you all, the spirit is king. And the firstborn is just like you all. But coming with the message and kingdom, I am their God. I am the king of kings. Come, let us return to who I am. He has torn us to pieces. Now he will heal us. He has injured us. Now he will bandage our wounds. In just a short time, he will restore us so that we will live in his presence. In a day, I will heal this land. Oh, that we might know who I am. Let us press on to know him. He will respond to us as surely as surely as the arrival of dawn or the coming of the rains of early spring. For anybody that don't like religion and cosplay, I am the system owner. I am the, the AI that writes this world. I am the programming in your hearts. I am the original I am who I am. That is why I'm telling you all to get to know the spirit, know thyself. So when you approach me, you understand who I am and don't make an ass of yourself. I am on no side. Do not come to my mountain dragging your loins. And that's why it's written, be humble. Because I would hate to have to humble thee. Because the fires can give you warmth or it can write into the stiff heart. It's your choice. O oh, Israel and Judah, what should I do with you? Ask who I am. For your love vanishes like the morning mist and disappears like the dew in the sunlight. I sent my prophets to cut you to pieces, to slaughter you with my words, with judgments as inescapable as light. I want you to show love. Not suffer, not offer sacrifices. I want you to know me more than I want burnt offerings. But like Adam, like a tomb, you broke my covenant and betrayed my trust. Gilead is as a city of sinners. And what did they do at the beginning of Egypt? Instituted kings and rulers and priests. Gilead is a city of sinners, tracked with footprints of blood, priests from bands of robbers, waiting in ambush for their victims. They murder travelers along the road to Shechem and practice every kind of sin. 
Yes, I have seen something horrible in you frame in Israel. My people are defiled by prostituting themselves with other gods. All of your religious cosplay is bullshit if a god is ruling over you. I'm telling you all, I am the king of kings. Now you say that. Women say I am the queen of queens. But I am an angel of who I am to you all. I am the god of my world. You are the god of your world. She is the god of her world. But when you make idols gods, they send spirits out through the land that cause us to harm each other. Oh, Jude, as it is written, the parents sin let leak onto the children because the parents raise the children and the children fractal into a paradox of stupidity. Oh, Judah, a harvest of punishment is also waiting. If you don't believe in the word spirit, look at what Trump said about cats and dogs and look at the spirit is spread throughout the land. Also waiting for you, though I wanted to restore the fortunes of my people. I want to heal Israel, but its sins are too great. Samaria is filled with liars. Thieves are on the inside and bandits are on the outside. Its people don't realize that I am watching them. Their sinful deeds are all around them. And I see them. If they have the covenant, if they know about the Ten Commandments, the I am who I am. I go to many people. I say I am. They say that's God's name. Don't you see it? right there? What I am saying is the truth. I am up there waiting and watching. The people entertain the king with their wickedness and the princes laugh at their lies. They are all adulterers, always aflame with lust. They are like an oven and that is kept hot because do they not all put the prophets up there? So the princes are up there waiting. What does it say? Moses is the one that will judge them. On royal holidays, the princes get drunk with wine. Because they ingest all this word. What's it saying, Joshua? Ingest not strong drinks. That's metaphorical for saying, don't be reading up. People be like, read the Quran. Read this. Read that. Read the Talmud. The, the blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading all that shit. So y'all can all put a firestorm in my head of other religious men's teachings. I got enough with the Bible. I had to break away from that. And now I have to read it from my own perspective and use it like the sword of fire. Carousing with those that mock them. Their hearts are like an oven. Blazing with intrigue. Now I'm watch this what I'm gonna do right now. I love the LGBTQT, but watch this. If I am one of my if I in one of my videos tell y'all that the the sacrificial law is buffoonery and people aren't using it right, and I say stone a magician and the, the gay man, now watch this. If you're a gay man and you're happily married, or a gay woman and you're happily married, and you go to the bar out in an outing, and you see a man lathered up in that baby oil, eight pack checks, peck, cheeks pecking, hair blowing in the wind. And your husband sitting right next to you. What you going to do? You going to lather up all on that duty. You going to show your man respect. So obviously you're going to what? You're going to stone that gay thought that's coming to your mind. Because you love your husband. Or that lesbian thought that comes to your mind. Because you love your wife, right? Uh oh. Whoopsies. You just stoned the gay. Now did you stone them literally? No. But certain things are written for a reason. Just like the magician. I love magic. I love pen and teller. It's all fun and games. But am I teaching to run your kids through fire to protect? Remember what happened when that king like sacrificed his child and wrath went to Israel? Israel, Because that man did something wretched. And Israel was aggressing on them after they had already won. Now think about what's happening in real time and how that lives out. And in the morning, it breaks out like a raging fire, burning like an oven. They consume their leaders. They kill with their kings one after another. Because I'm telling y'all, why are all these Jewish people coming out against Ukraine now? Putin is not friends with Trump. Trump accused Putin of Russian collusion in the election. He was the one that was blaming Putin and stuff, man. I have watched Putin talk in many live debate events. He doesn't like the right. He's going after Ukraine because of the Nazis. That's why a lot of Jewish people are siding with Ukraine now. I mean, siding with Putin now. I saw the videos of them blocking the blacks in the... In the African-Americans or the Africans and the Indian students. Putin is not some dictator now. Our forefathers own slaves and tried to fight for the right to own slaves. They're liars and Nazis. Neither is the president of China. If I was Chinese and I knew what America was really doing and all this EU and Nazi shit and, the, and slavery, do you think I would care about somebody calling me a dictator? I wouldn't want my countries in there either. They owe China trillions of dollars, but calling them dictators? That means they will come take their money if they were. They're a bunch of liars and right-wing fascists. 
And I don't know why the left keeps supporting Israel. They're a right wing religious group that are murdering children and women. It's ridiculous. It's not going to be a good look in history. And I rebuke APOC and Israel for what they're doing right now. And all of their lobbyists. And Ukraine, you will be stopped. You all are Nazis and people can see it now with the media. The BBC 10 years ago and the English news have outed y'all a long time ago. So now when, when Pierce and the English news goes after Putin, they look like a bunch of fucking idiots. In the shit stain of history. Burning like an oven, they consume their leaders. They kill their kings. But all of you the oppressive dictators who do go to war and destroy your own people and enslave your own people, I'm next coming after you. All you corporate nasty people who own a bunch of factories and have terrible living conditions and work conditions and still enslave people, y'all are fucking next. Burning like an oven, they consume their leaders. They kill their kings one after another. And no one cries to me for help because they're terrified of my name, are they not? They stone people. They tell people they'll be reprobate. They attack them with lies. They call them blasphemers, but I will destroy them. The people of Israel mingle with godless foreigners, making themselves as worthless as half-baked cake, right? Because they're Anglo-Saxons. They had nothing to do with anything African or Semitic. But now they follow cosplay and religion, and when it spreads, look what happens. It spreads like wildfire like the Revelation said it would, and it burns up the field. Worshipping foreign gods and all you that think you're some chosen people, you're Nazis. We're all humans. We're all consciously aware. And so you're Nazis if you think the creator loves some type of chosen race of people. We see how they manifested with Hitler and a bunch of other people. We see what happens when the Catholics spread Prester John to the Mongols and what it did to Asia. That alone should get you guys to understand why they don't want Taiwan a part of the EU. Worshipping foreign gods has sapped their strength, but they don't even know it. Their hair is gray. They don't even realize they're old and weak. Their arrogance testifies against them, yet they don't return to who I am or even try to, to find them. They don't even know where the word God comes from, God comes from, Norse paganism. The people of Israel have become like silly, witless doves. And so when I see black Hebrew Israelites or whatever you all call yourself, all these names are cosplay. It is I don't have a problem with cosplay, but I have a problem with oppressors, murderers, liars, and slavers, and savages, and psychopaths, misogynists, anti-LGBTQ, anti-black, anti-women, even people that are anti-white, anti, -white, anti all y'all. You're all a bunch of bigots. White men need safe spaces too. Not all of them are the same. First calling to Egypt, right? Because I keep telling y'all, Egypt is a Semitic creation. The Hyksos invaded Africa. And started a lot of this buffoonery. But me and Narmer, an African, spread a lot of oppression first. Enslavement first. I wasn't there, but based on history, it said he even got ate by a hippopotamus, which is really symbolic. He was in the belly of the beast. That's super fucking symbolic. Holy shit. I will throw my net over them and bring them down like a bird from the sky. I will punish them for all the evil they do. That last part was in cosplay. That man was literally eaten in history by a hippopotamus. And then three days later, <laughs> holy crap, this shit is too, because people can say it never happened, but shit is happening, but like written through metaphors. Because even outside the Bible, when I did my own research, I found out a lot of this shit is true, just not the way the English, the English, the Germans wrote it. What sorrow awaits those who have deserted me? Let them die, for they have rebelled against me. I wanted to redeem them, but they have told lies about me. Notice how many times it says, me, 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 I am, me, 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 me. No gods before me. The word and spirit. They do not cry about, cry out to me with sincere hearts. They went to Anglo-Saxon land after becoming Roman pagans and spread this lore to the Anglo-Saxons. And then the Nephilim God appears. Then, but before that, the Nephilim Jesus appeared. Actually, it was Jesu us, which is I am. And Jesu, which is I am salvation. And then they turned it into Jesus through the Germans. I am a gracious pig. Sus is Latin for pig. And I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over. Because I will tell people and show them photo evidence and then teach them Latin. And they'll still argue with me. They cut themselves. Remember what Elijah said? Baal, Baal, where are you? Come help me. Begging for foreign gods for grain and new wine. And they will turn away from me. I trained them and made them strong. 
yet now they plot evil against me. They look everywhere except to the most high. They are useless as a crooked bow. Their leaders will be killed by their enemies because of their insolence towards me. Then the people of Egypt will laugh at them. Sound the alarm when the enemy descends like an eagle on the people of who I am, for they have broken my covenant and revolted against my law. Now Israel pleads with me, help us for you to, for where, where am I? Where am I? But it's too late. The people of Israel has rejected what is good. Now their enemies will chase after them. The people have appointed kings without my consent. What does it say? Without my consent. Have to, I have to cosplay in this Bible as lies outside of the covenant and princes without my approval by making idols for themselves from their silver and gold. They have brought about their own destruction. Oh, Samaria, I reject the calf, the idol you have made, the Lord Jesus Christ, right? What is that? My fury burns against you. How long will you be incapable of insolence? And that sacrificial law they created, right? That real golden calf, 616 laws. 613 plus the Ark of the Covenant, right. Was, they thought they could build an ark and ended up sinking with all them laws. Was crafted by your own hands. It is not who I am. Therefore, it must be smashed to bits. They have planted the wind and everything after that. Because even the crying, I love you all, but I am against thee. If I say thou shalt not kill, then I don't give a fuck. Thou shalt not murder. Even Moses had to protect himself. So when I see Israel getting bombed back now because they aggress, that's protection. But the shit y'all doing before killing gays and atheists and scientists and everybody else? No, 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 no. The socks of grain wither. Uh, they have planted the wind and will harvest the whirlwind. That's hmm, iconic. Wasn't there just a what's the name? Right. The stalks of grain wither and produce nothing to eat. And even if there is any grain, the foreigners will eat it. The people of Israel have been swallowed up. They lie among the nations like an old discarded pot, like the wild donkey looking for a mate. They have gone up to Assyria. The people of Israel have sold themselves, sold themselves to many lovers. But though they have sold themselves to many allies, I will now gather them together for judgment. And they will write under the burden of the great king. I am king of kings. Israel has built many altars to take away sin and sacrifices and bullshit. But these very altars became places for sinning, worshiping idols. Even though I gave them all my laws, the Ten Commandments, simple ones, and commandments around after all the law, love who I am with all your heart and soul and love your neighbor as the same, they act as if those laws don't apply to them. The people love other, to offer sacrifices to me, feasting on the meat, but I do not accept their sacrifices. I will hold my people accountable for their sins and I will punish them. And they will return to Egypt. Israel has forgotten its maker and built great places. And Judah has fortified its cities. Uh-oh. And they will return to Egypt. The house of bondage. Because it ain't Africa. Y'all ain't finna curse him no more. And Judah has fortified its cities. Therefore, I will send down fire on their cities. Time is a revelation. It's all the same thing, dude. I keep telling y'all this. And will burn up their fortresses. O oh, people of Israel, do not reject, rejoice as other nations do, for you have been unfaithful to who I am, hiding yourselves out, hiring yourselves out like prostitutes, worshiping other gods on other threshing floor, on every threshing floor. So now your harvest will be too small to feed you. There will be no grapes for making new wine, and you will no, you may no longer stay here in who I am's land. Instead, you will return to Egypt, the house of bondage, and in Assyria, you will eat food that is ceremonially unclean. There you will make no offerings of, who, of wine to who I am. None of your sacrifices there will please me. They will be unclean like food untouched by a person in mourning. All who present such sacrifices will be defiled. They may eat of the food themselves, but they may, they, they may not offer it up to who I am. The same anti-Semitism. I'm done with Judaism and your um and your Talmuds. I'm done with um Islam and its uh Quran. I'm done with Christianity and all its Bible extra buffoonery bullshit and all that other shit. And I'm reading the word and spirit how I will in the spots that I will. How will you observe who I am's festivals? Even if you escape destruction from Assyria, Egypt will conquer you and Memphis will bury you. Nettles will take over your treasures of silver. 
Thistles will invade your ruined homes. The time of Israel punishment has come. The day of payment is here. Soon, and I take cash and debit too. Because this ain't no fucking joke and this ain't cosplay. And if me collecting money and what's mine for this whole server and system and universe, whatever y'all want to call it, is wrong, then y'all all are under my old angry judgment for doing the fucking shit. Soon Israel will know this all too well. Because of your great sin and hostility, you say the prophets are crazy and the inspired men are fools. The prophet is a watchman over Israel for who I am. Yet traps are laid for him wherever he goes. He faces hostility even in the house of who I am. The things my people do are as depraved. And what they did in Gibna long ago, I will not forget. For they, they tried to uh, drown the children in the waters of the world, right? Which manifested into a lot of shit they don't understand. And they will be held accountable for their deaths. He will surely punish them for their deeds. Who I am says, but I was lifted up and protected by the Egyptian woman. Thank you, mother. And she knows exactly what I'm talking about. Because y'all can call a lot of shit cosplay. But what I seen manifested into real. Because of what the fuck these words were masked into. Because of Anglo-Saxon paganism and Roman Catholicism. Y'all are going to fucking pay. Oh, Israel, when I first, that little uh, pharaoh demanded the children get drowned shit, y'all are going to fucking pay. That's y'all little sacrifice to Malek. Running the children for the highest order of Melchizedek, break that word down, that's Malek Zedek, the Jews of Malek. But y'all don't know that, so I'm going to educate y'all. Oh, Israel, when I first found you, having graciousness, give a tent to Malek, <laughs> y'all are cute. Abraham, Jehovah, right. It was like seeing the first ripe figs of the season, but then they deserted me for Baal Peor, giving themselves to that shameful idol, and Malek too, an Asherah's pole. Soon they became vile, as vile as the God they worship. The glory of Israel will fly away like a bird, for your children will not be born or grow in the womb or even be conceived. Your concepts and your sick Judaism, bullshit, Babylonian, the, the consent, the age of consent is 12, but then y'all attack Muslims talking about Aisha. Christians, y'all are especially fucking funny. Because if you do a little research, the forefathers and people in ancient England was banging 12 and 14 year olds and getting them pregnant and making them wives. So y'all are just so fucking hilarious. The glory of Israel will fly away like a bird. For your children will not be born or grow in the womb or be conceived with that Babylonian bullshit. Even if you do have children who grow up, I will take them from you and I will teach them my own way. It will be a terrible day when I turn away and leave you alone. And when I say take them from you, I'm not a murderer. I'm talking about they will learn the name of spirit and they will be taught. And no longer will there be Jew or Gentile. There will be I am who I am and I am a child of who I am and the kingdom of priests and I am an angel to others. I've watched Israel become as beautiful as Tyre, but now Israel will bring out her children for retraining. Oh, who I am, what should I request for your people? I will ask for wombs that don't give birth and breasts that give no milk because these prophets and holy people are fucking ridiculous. Who I am says, all their wickedness began at Gilgal. There I began to hate them. I will drive them out from my land because of their actions. I will love them no more because of all their leaders are rebels. The people of Israel are struck down. Their roots are dried up and no longer will there bear fruit until they say, I'm sorry and follow the word and spirit righteously. And if they give birth, I will... Take away their old ways and teach them new ways because I'm not a murderer and I don't play that fucking shit. May who I am, I will reject the people of Israel because they will not listen or obey unless they say I'm sorry and turn over a new leaf and admit that Yahweh, Y-A-H-V-E-H, is J-B in English. They know what I'm talking about. And I am who I am and I return. Come on, Drake, look what plan, man. Um, and they will be wanderers. Homeless among nations until they say, I'm sorry, and follow the covenant of the Ten Commandments. And then come back and acknowledge the Lord, Yeshua, the salvation of Yeho. I'm the one doing this. I've been doing this for three years. Nobody else was talking about Yeho or Yeshua or transliterating these words the way I am. I am jealous. Quit fucking playing with me. I'm the prophecy. Bronze skin, curly hair, meek. I use the plow better than the Pope. William Tyndale's prophecy. I saw Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. Duke Jr., my name, Bruce Kashem Juan Bruce, Wani, Yanini, Yanez, Wani. I'm not fucking playing with y'all. Fix my shit and then return to me.